Hey guys, Mr. Movie, and today we're reviewing Ryan Johnson's Knives Out, and this movie stars Anna Diamaros, uh, Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, a bunch of other people. And it is about a, uh, kind of like the godfather of the family, he kind of dies mysteriously. Um, people think it's a suicide, but they hire Daniel Craig's character, the detective, to find out if it's not a suicide. So stuff I liked about this movie, the acting, uh... Everybody's been talking about Daniel Craig's voice. Yeah, I, I got used to it after 20 minutes. First of all, I'm like, oh my god, I thought he's going to have a British accent. And I'm like, oh wait, he already does. And he's, yeah, I got used to it eventually, though. Uh, it didn't, I thought his performance would have been the same without the voice, but, you know, whatever. Anna D. Armas, or however you say it, but she did a great job in this movie, actually. She had some emotional scenes that she that she really did really well. I, I I didn't I wouldn't I would say she did everything to her full potential and she did it pretty solid. Um, and then Chris Evans, he had a, he did a great job too. He he hasn't played a character like this since uh, 2010 Scott Pilgrim vs the World. Uh, he's been in a lot of Marvel movies, which he's more of the serious guy. He's still cracking jokes sometimes, but yeah. But he, I thought he did great in this movie. He was more of the funny guy sort of, but yeah. And then Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, she, she was fine. Um, Tom or uh, Thomas Shannon, I think it was. He he wasn't bad either. You know, there was a bunch of other people too. So yeah, the only thing I didn't like though, they um, there was maybe two characters I'd say that didn't really do anything in the story. They were just there. But yeah, um, I thought the story was really good. I'll get the the only thing I didn't like about the story later. Um, but. Yeah, I thought the story was really solid. They made you there. There was a really cool thing that they did that deceived your mind, and it was great. I love that. Um, and then the feel, it felt like really eerie, sort of at the start, because they were all fog and stuff when the murder happened. Um, and then also, um, like the 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 guy kind of felt like the Godfather because he was paying for everybody's stuff. Yeah, that was kind of cool. So yeah. Um, and then the cinematography. Nobody's really been talking about this, but uh, there's been many scenes where they had impressive zooms up on the character. Um, you never, you, like, you don't see that a lot. Most of the time they just sit there and it's like, cut, and then zoom up on the character, which I think is kind of dumb. But they they were zooming in on the character, so I thought that was pretty cool. Like I said, though, the only thing I didn't like was about the story. I thought the second act dragged a little bit. I, it's, I thought it's, I think it's always really hard to have the second act be really good because that's the longest act and it has to build anticipation for the final act which it did don't get me wrong but I thought it dragged just a little bit which like I said is really hard to do and if movie does that I praise them for that but yeah so um I gave Kni Knives Out as 96% I definitely recommend watching it it did make my A plus it's probably second best film of the year and um yeah so you'll see you next time movie fans